Hello, uh, this is the first tutorial of Mine Emator or Minecraft Animator and I'm using version 1.2.4 right now uh, not sure if any new version has been released but this is the version I'll be making the tutorials on and the tutorials will be based on my experience and I'm not gonna take any shortcut so uh, first time you run the application it will load some texture and resources it may take a while okay so as you can see here, uh, we have the credits for the creator and the programmer and of course it is based on Minecraft. So the first screen you see is the startup screen which telling you uh, you want to start a new project or a project you have done before. I have done this before so I can get the basics. Uh, because uh, I can just go in and I will know everything about that something before even using it so for now I'm gonna pick uh, a new project name the project uh, put the name of the author description etc and create now project is created so as we can see here, uh, if you hold the left click here and rotate the camera, you can rotate. If you use the right click uh, here or here, both sides, you can rotate this or rotate like this with the right click. Uh, if you hold the right click and use the movement key as W A S T. It will basically move forward, backward and uh, E to move up, Q to go down. Okay, it's not hard. You left you leave the the right click, everything goes back. Okay. We can see here we have this crafting table when you press on it you see add objects so you can pick an object and put the object now the object has been added you can do uh, like get some stuff from other places like you can oh hold a second ah never mind okay so you can pick a, a project from a minecraft world and just put the world right here in the animator and you can basically do whatever you want for example uh, I have seen uh, this one right here so uh, in this world it tells me that there is 354 for logs can be animated so uh, it tells you if you want to add this as individual yeah sure now because I have added a lot of objects I guess the game will be pretty pretty laggy 
So this is just a copy of my wallet, okay? And uh, it's not the latest copy of my wallet, it's just uh, an old copy of the wallet. So you can import it and adjust the height of the wallet. I'm sure I'll find out how to do that very soon. But for now, I want to explain the basics and how it works. Okay, let's go up. I don't like the basement of my wallet. So, as we can see here, uh, we did import the wallet. Okay. So, uh, we need to do uh, some animation. How about some... Or maybe let it into the other time. We need now to set some basics some basics so here is how to move the object up and down as you can see and you have other uh, points here moving uh, forward and backwards left and right and these two are one Two, three, four rotation. So you can rotate the object, and even you can pick it from here. You can rotate the object in any direction you like. Okay, that's pretty nice. So, what next? Uh, yeah, let's remove Steve. You want to remove an object, but you don't know how to remove, right? Is this right? Uh, You just basically hold the click and drag the object to this one here. Oh, oh you select it and click on this trash can and done, object removed. Let me do it again. Here you select this object and click on the trash can. Remove selected object. Okay. Boom. Object has been removed. So let's uh, look again on the crafting table. You can place the camera. That's a light spot. The camera. The background some music you can basically add any uh, scene you want create a single part okay yeah, this i should learn about it here is you can make a block with movable parts like piston armor stand beds shulker box you basically can create any and put anything into this world. A grass, a cobblestone, a dirt, plants. All you have to do after you select the object is click add. Bas and basically the object will be placed in the default location of the map. Okay? I'm not gonna take shortcuts. Not gonna just tell you, you do this and do this, and you are now professional in the Mayan animator. No. I'm gonna explain in every tutorial some basics, and with this basic, you should go advance and upgrade yourself and make better than me, okay? I'm not professional, 
and I'm not telling I'm the the one who can teach you everything but I can teach you the basics okay you can you can go watch tons of tutorials that you may watch it and get no idea what uh, what happened in the tutorial okay so as we said before these are the controlling you can move the object anywhere you want okay up and down like this now it looks like <laughs> pressure plate okay Uh, that's is the basics for now. Uh, to make some animation, let me uh, do it on uh, a model. I'm gonna use Enderman. Feels easier for me to to do Enderman, and I like these purple eyes. Okay, to do some animations, click on the model you want to animate and we can see here is the frames line so these are not timer in seconds it's timer in frames so as by default you are going to make a 8k resolution at 60 fps if not 120 fps so if you reach this, this point this is exactly one second 60 is one second because this is 60 frames you don't do 60 seconds right here it's 60 frames but if you are, if you are doing 30 frames per second it's gonna be two seconds right here so here is one second and here is two if you are doing 60 frames per second this is one second got it so we need to do some animation right here uh, let's go right here and pick part of like mm, no no wait body uh, where is the head? I guess Enderman have only the mouse. So, we have uh, the object right here. Which one? Okay, so we did a movement here. So, we move to another place. We want to do another movement like this no no and we want later to do something like uh, right arm Let's go here to some another movement. Oh yeah. It doesn't fit but it's okay for now. Let's make it Oh yeah, and I forget, you can, with this inner circle, you can move the, the inner part of the body, which is right here. So let's do this. Yeah, that makes sense. 
that make a lot of sense. Of course. So, uh, we can do a little play of the animation. No. Let's go back to, to zero. Play. Oh, you know what the mistake I did here? Of course you don't. So, what I did exactly is, let me reset everything. What I did exactly here is, I didn't put the animation from zero. Okay, so as you see here, if you didn't put the animation starting from the first frame, you may have little problems as you can see here for this example. Now we have done some animation. We can continue and uh, go and make some little difference like here. Now, let's take a look at our animation we did as the example. Okay. Looks nice, right? So this just what I did is like six seconds or so it's around it's around six seconds only I think because I'm using uh, 30 frames per second right now as default project settings so these are the basics for now uh, if you have any question you want to learn anything else let me know down in the comments below thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial.